Hi, students. So here I am trying to annotate a short story. Okay, and here's the custodian. So here in all caps are the comments I would make. Okay, I get as far as the title, custodian. Hmm. Well, if I look up the word, it actually means somebody who cares for somebody, who has custody for somebody, like a child not just the janitor, somebody who cleans the place. Well, that's kind of interesting. All right. So now I'm going to start reading the story. The jump. And I stop. And I consider what we're talking about here. Wait a minute, what job are we talking about? I'm two words into the story and I have to stop and pause and ask the question. And that's how you do active reading. You stop and you ask questions. You don't just keep blazing ahead. And then you try to answer the question, what job? Well, what do I know so far? The title. So maybe the job is custodian. Okay, yay, I answered it. Now I can keep going. The job would get boring if you didn't mix it up a little. Huh. The use of you in a story is a little unusual, I think. Now that actually doesn't pan out as just an expression, but ordinarily the use of you is interesting. Okay, so I make comments like, ooh, if you heard that, that was fireworks. I'm not under attack. Anyway, the nurse is called into the mockingbird, and I might think to myself, ooh, that's pretty. When I learn more information, I take notes. When I learn what the setting is, I guess we're in a hospital or a nursing home. If I wanted, I could use one color for things I know and one color for things I'm guessing. But as I go through the story, I'm guessing. I'm making inferences. I'm learning things about the setting. I'm learning things about what this is trying to tell us. Okay. I point out metaphors, like she sang like a house on fire, which is actually a simile. Does that end up helping a lot? Not really. For this story, the metaphors are just adding a little color. So for a kick, I notice his language is slangy, informal. Noticing what kind of language somebody does could be important for um, discovering character. And on we go. And then at the end of paragraph one, maybe I stop and do a summary of what I just read, which really helps me put this in better context. What was the whole paragraph about? This was set up for the story in which he tells us that he makes the old lady sing for a kick. Okay. And what kind of songs? All right. Paragraph two. Yesterday, her his daughter or maybe granddaughter comes in, and I might mark that we've got a third character at this point. Okay. Um, well, 14a, hmm, calling her that is kind of dehumanizing. I point out anything unusual, anything that isn't the most normal, boring way to say something, anything that jumps out at me. She, 14a and I were part ways into Auld Lang Syne. Well, if you look that up, you'll find that that's a song traditionally sung on New Year's. And that's really all you need to know about it. Um, and the daughter says, oh, 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 like she'd interrupted scintillating conversation. If you don't know what scintillating it means, you should look it up and find that it means really interesting. And then she takes a long look at 14A lying there in the gurney, that's a medical, like a rolling bed, with her eyes shut and her curled up hands, taking a cup of kindness yet. Well, if you looked up Auld Lang Syne, you would find out that that's a line from the song, and so that's why she's doing that, because otherwise that just sounds so random. And I start thinking to myself, is there a punchline coming? Because I can see the story is nearly over, and all he's done is randomly sing with the old lady. Nothing else has happened. All right. And the daughter looks at me, the world, hey, a girl does the end of an old movie, and she says, my God, you're an angel. And now I can't do it anymore, can hardly step into her room. And my first thought when I read that was, what? I mean, he sings with the old lady and then the story ends. What just happened? Oh, uh, what is a perfectly fine response, but then again, you stop and ask the question. What are we trying to do here? Why did this end so abruptly? What is the punchline? Well... Something has to change for this to be a story. So I'm going to say, at the beginning, he was singing with the old lady for a kick, because it was funny. It was hilarious to make her sing, you know, Let It Snow During a Heat Spell, or something like that. Okay, very funny. Um, but then her daughter or granddaughter comes in and says, 
oh, you're a wonderful person. You're singing with my grandmother to spend time with her for therapy or something like that. You're doing it to be nice. And the custodian, who was treating her as a human jukebox, who thought this was a big joke, is now ashamed. And something has changed. He feels so bad, he can't step in her room anymore. He has learned something, and therefore, something changed, and this is a story. But you see, my annotating helped me understand what's going on, and it got me more involved in the story. So this is how you active read. <laughs>